Right, off we go. Hello, welcome to iRacing. Here we are at Watkins Glen in upstate New York. Watch the inside, his nose is there. Machiavelli, what an appropriate name to make a very bold move at T1. Anyway, yes, here we are. <clears throat> Fanatec GT3 Challenge, fixed setups, 20 minute race, uh, nice little sprint. I'm in the Ferrari, 488, the new 296 yet to make it to iRacing. And I'm glad about that because uh, I'm not really a big fan of the 296, I much prefer the 488 for looks and sounds. Anyway, here we are, yes, it's going to be roughly 12 laps. I've qualified 8th, I think it was, out of a field of 18. So. Uh, a top 10 finish really is what I'm aiming at here. This is only my third race on the comeback trail. But uh, I want to try and get back to where I was before I had a break of consistently finishing inside the top 10 for these GT3 races. Nice little bit of... Uh, oops. So I was going for another one there. This has been a very clean first lap. It's also been a very clean um, pace lap. You usually get some people screwing it up at Watkins Glen, but no, not on this occasion. We are good to go. So we've made it through. The first lap okay. Zero point seven to Perez behind. That's okay. We'll just try and keep our own pace. A little bit of shuffling. If you're not going to make it three wide, I am poking his nose in. This is the, this is exactly this part of the track where you get a lot of errors. So we'll just keep our eyes open. Chinchilla in the yellow Mercedes. I'm not really going to poke my nose in here. Oh, we're going too wide. Yes, no, yes, he's through. Fair play, Machiavelli. Right, let's just try and stay on the back of Chinchilla. This is um, it's a lovely track. This is the full layout with the boot and the inner loop. Uh, really good track for GT3s. Uh, nice and wide in all places. Lots of uh, good corners to go side by side in. A couple of longish straights try and if you get a good exit in the previous corner you can get the pass done before you get to the end um, a lot of potential for people to make errors so I'm hoping that we uh, we do all right here one of my favorite tracks I have one here driving uh, the first race after I race introduced the uh, Porsche 911 GT3 R my first race was at Watkins Glen and I won that. So that was nice. I don't win many. The We're two laps down. No problems. This is good. What we like behind? 0 0.5 to Perez. Sector one is zero point two eight. Off the Donk. Pace. Sector two is one point five seconds. Off the pace. Sector three is one to run two wide there. I'll try and keep this race as low as possible for instant points. I really need to keep my um, safety rating above 2.0 to not risk uh, demotion to B license when the season rolls over in a couple of weeks. I don't really, I mean, it's not a massive problem if it goes under two. I can just do a race and stay at the back and stay out of trouble. But, you know, it, then you find you take a massive hit on your I rating. Even though I don't really care about I rating, I've said that all the time. I'm currently sitting at 1600 something. Um, even though I don't really care about I rating, you don't want to get sucked down to that sub 1500, getting close to a thousand I rating. I mean, more chance of winning the race is there, but the quality of driving down there is a little bit ropey. And I like to finish races. Car 13 in this field, so uh, ooh, come on. So I'm not expected to finish too high up. Perez and the BMW behind, nice and stable. 
did a bit of practice on the uh, BMW, I quite liked it, but I thought I'd stick with the Ferrari for this. There's quite a few McLarens in this race as well, it seems that this is a good track for McLarens. Even in the fixed setup configuration. Three down, no trouble. This bodes well. Usually, if, if you're going to be, unless you make a mistake yourself, oops, he says as he goes off track, unless you make a mistake yourself, usually all your problems are done in the first four or five laps. The only other exception to that, I think it's happened to me once, where I did, is it a 40 minute DRS GT sprint? Or was it an IMSA? It could have been an IMSA. We got all the way to the pretty much the white flag without having any problems, and then actually coming around the next left turn, there was a guy who decided to reverse across the whole track, and he took about three of us out. And that was no fun. This is very clean so far. It's, it's, it's quite a quite quite an intense experience racing at the Glen because you just have to it, because it's a bit like Brands Hatch, a bit like Laguna Seca. It is fast all the way round. You've just really got to keep concentrating, keep your foot in. It's probably one of the slowest corners on on the track there, along with this one. up there buddy this is just trying to poke out or oh, was that a donk from Machiavelli I like might have caught the wall there the turn one is so good oh another off track yay oh he's going for it he's got it he's gonna out drag this oh so close there this Again, because of the speed through the corners, this is another track where net code can be a real problem. He's going to get this corner. He's going to get it, is he? Yes, he is. Machiavelli decides that to win the war, sometimes you have to concede a battle. We've got Perez closing up behind us. We've got Pyre behind him. Oh, we've got a guy car stopped. Don't do it. Thank you very much. Schussler. Oh, and that's sort of allowed in Perez, but we're okay. I'm not going to squeeze him. Just give ourselves as much room as we can. And he's going to have to slot back in. Not long. Oh, he's donked. Perez. Oh, unlucky. Unless he tried to put his foot down a bit too early there and just tracked out too far. That's a shame. That was unlucky. But that's not really a long enough bit of tarmac for you to get a good run to overtake on. So, unlucky there. Who've got behind us now? Paya. Another Ferrari. We've got four Ferraris in a row. Everything looking good so far. track this time. Good. Okay, Matt. Don't let this guy distract you. There's no pit stops in this. I was just going to show the inside, so I'll just give myself a little bit of adjustment there, just to show him that... Oh, another one down. Who's that? Brinkop. Good, good, good. So yeah, just to show Paya that I can see he's moving, but I'm not going to let him sneak up the inside, just cover it off. It's not blocking, it's just a little adjustment, makes him a little bit unsure as to whether to complete the move. Ten minutes to go, that's ten minutes left. Come on, keep digging. 
doing alright so far. Doing alright so far. Right, thinking about it, backing off, good lad. Danger is when you've got somebody quite close to your rear, is that you sort of miss your braking because in in the back of your mind you know that if they're following closely, if they're, if they're going to do it safely, they need to brake earlier than they normally brake so as they don't hit you. And while you're thinking about that, you kind of miss your own braking point. So you've got to just have trust that the person behind you is all right. And so far, pay has been good as gold. V6, two is Again, little, another little the look up the inside there. He's thinking about it. He's a slightly higher rated driver than me, so... Similar competency levels. 0.2 going into this straight. He might be able to come up alongside. If he can get down 0.1 now or thereabouts. Otherwise, a bit late. He's thinking about it. No. This is alright. We're sixth at the moment. This is good. Oh, now he's going to look up, come inside. No, he's going to back off again. Oh, I've gone a bit deep. Let's get him go. Not a problem. Let's just stay side by side. Okay, so a little tinier for me. Kind of, kind of what I was just talking about. Just sort of a fraction late on the brakes has allowed him just to uh, go up the inside. But anyway, we've got two and a half seconds now to Conga behind in the Audi. So hopefully we won't see Conga. I mean, all the cars are going to be lapping at really similar paces within a tenth here and there, so anything over a couple of seconds um, takes several laps to, to see that vanish. It's okay, so we're seventh now. Chinchilla's done a good job of holding off Machiavelli. He lost his place, and he got it back, and now he's put a bit of space. Donk. I have to watch out doing that repetitively, because you do get accumulated damage in iRacing, so if I keep taking that corner and smacking my front right suspension every time, um, it's not really a long race, you've only got about four or five laps left, but if this was a much longer race, then could be looking at mechanical failure. It's quite a tough little section. Even though the curbs, uh, the rumble strip curbs are flat, they do unsettle the car as you come in. And you need to change the direction from left to right, then right to left, in a short space of time in the inner loop. Maybe Pyre can get up to Machiavelli and challenge, slow them both down, you never know. Three point three to Conga, so the gap has grown behind. We're really not gonna see anybody behind us now. And Perez has come back in his BMW, fair play. After his wall hit from earlier. Too wide. Right, four laps left, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. It's a much better corner. There we go. Yes, much better. No big hits on the wheels. He's getting away a bit now. You never know, if he pushes a bit harder, then it's possible that he could make an error. He's closing quite quickly into Machiavelli. That's five minutes to go. Five minutes 
3.9 to Conga, gap behind is growing. So unless anybody else makes errors, I think 7th is pretty much where we're going to end up. And these two in front, all it takes, they both seem, I mean they've both been really respectful so far in racing both me and other cars around them. So I think they're going to be okay, but you never know, all it takes is just a, a fraction of a microsecond's misjudgment and you could be looking at two cars out. So I just need to stay close, just keep a watching brief and see what they're going to do. Just keep my own pace as normal. Not long to go now. Congo's coming under pressure from Perez behind, so he's going to drop off even more. Pyre is going to be firmly in Machiavelli's draft. So it's been a really good race, I'm really enjoying this. This is exactly um, the sort of racing I like on iRacing. Um, fast track, nice and close, drivers not taking each other off. You know, this is, this is really what all online racing should be like. moment I'm going to finish seventh because basically I'm the seventh fastest driver in this race so it's kind of where you expect to be. Everything evens itself out over the course of a race so we're here because we deserve to be. That's okay, that's good, it's higher than where we started. I'm still just on the two incident points so we should pick up something on the safety rating later. between them now in front. They're going to go for it. Yes, no, dive, no. Again, so little, little bits of the track like that, the inner loop where all it takes is someone just to get it a little bit wrong. And everything goes bad. Oh, and Perez behind has gone. He's obviously had some sort of damage to his car and possibly lost it again. So he's gone. 3.8 to Conga. 3.5, 3.4. So we're not going to see Conga. Oh, him and Campos are uh, now locked in a fight. Two guys in front are locked in a fight. This is really good. But look, everybody's getting it right. Are we on white flag next? I think we might be. So one more lap for Paya to try and get past Machiavelli. Chinchilla's gone. He's under no threat. So Conga's doing a very good job. He held off Perez. He's now holding off Campos. Here we go. Last lap. Thought about it in front. He just needs to I think he might have lost his chance there. He's four tenths behind. He wanted to be a lot closer coming out of turn one for that long run up the hill down to the inner loop. Back down 
has lost his chance now he's only half a second between them so I think he's just resigned himself this has been a really good race we've uh, we've made it up to seventh which is all right happy with that very respectful driving from everybody around us so we're really happy with that Coming up to the last corner. It was a race well run. Conga's done well. So there we are. We started eighth. We finished seventh. We're still well inside the top ten. Some good racing. Nice and clean. I enjoyed that. So thanks for watching then. And I will see you for the next one.